Hey Book Dragons, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about a mashup of Sherlock Holmes and Cthulhu. Let's go. So I recently finished Sherlock Holmes and the Shadwell Shadows. It is book one of the Cthulhu Casebooks series written by James Lovegrove. And it's a very, very unique book and, and I just absolutely loved it. Um, it it's, it's a mashup essentially of Sherlock Holmes and, uh, and the Cthulhu Legends. And it follows Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson on their actual adventures versus the adventures that we are told about in Sir Arthur Conan Doyle's tales. At the very beginning of the book, the person who cataloged these stories has been sent all of these notes from Dr. Watson Dr. Watson is up in years, and he wants to get things off of his chest, what really happened. And it's taking it from the standpoint that everything we knew about Sherlock Holmes was more or less de-embellished, in a way, to, 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 to play down what's actually happening behind the scenes, uh, the terrors, the, the, the demons that are lurking behind every shadow. So in effort to not arouse the terror of the general populace and, and, and make people scared and everything, Dr. Watson is basically saying that his original stories were falsified to make it seem more normal and commonplace. So these books are purported to be what actually happened, and it would be Sherlock Holmes' encounters with different Lovecraftian horrors that pop up in some of the murders and happenings that he's called on to investigate. So in this book, it takes it from the original story where Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson are meeting for the first time, which we're kind of all familiar with the tale if you've, if you've read a study in Scarlet, you know, kind of the the whole premise there that that they're just they're just becoming flatmates and everything like that. But from there, it goes in a completely different direction, and it's just a fascinating ride to see the way that James Lovegrove has crafted this tale. One of the things I was really impressed about was how he managed to capture the voice of Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson in their original Arthur Conan Doyle settings. As I was reading this book, I really felt like I was reading something that Sir Arthur Conan Doyle had wrote. He, he just beautifully captured the essence of how a Sherlock Holmes story is written, the kind of language that is used, the, uh, the, the proper English that is used for the time. It was just expertly crafted, just absolutely phenomenal. Um, and I loved the way he interwove some of the classic characters like uh, Professor Moriarty, and Mycroft Holmes, and Lestrade, and just all of these classic characters that you know and are familiar with, but wrapped up in this completely otherworldly, horrific setting. And I, I was on the edge of my seat through most of the book, just wondering what was going to happen next. It, it was that good. I will say that there there were a couple points in the book where I felt like, ah, uh, you know, I, I don't know if that really feels like something that Sherlock Holmes would do 
even if Sherlock Holmes were to start believing in the existence of supernatural forces. Uh, you know, in, in the original Sherlock Holmes books, he's very logical and uh, he, he works a lot based on reason and, uh, and of course, deduction. But in this book, he's faced with the reality of supernatural forces at work. And, and I thought it was just pulled off masterfully, but there were a few moments where I was like, ah, I, I, I don't know if that necessarily feels like Sherlock Holmes. But it, it's okay. It, it totally worked for me. Uh, one thing that I felt was kind of interesting is there were a couple points in the story where I felt like there was a lot pulled from the horror at Red Hook. So if you've ever read the H.P. Lovecraft tale, the horror at Red Hook, you will see some things in this book that are quite similar and may have been pulled out and adapted from that story. So it was a lot of fun. I highly recommend it. If you are a fan of Sherlock Holmes and you are a fan of supernatural horror or cosmic horror, as it's typically referred to with H.P. Lovecraft, you will feel right at home in this book. I was kind of not too sure what I was getting myself into. This is something I ran across on Amazon. I hadn't had it recommended to me or anything like that. I just saw it on Amazon as a recommendation by Amazon of something I might enjoy reading. And so I read the blurb and I'm like, okay, this sounds like it could be right up my alley. And and it was cheap. I think it was like 99 cents or $1.99 at the time. So I grabbed it. And, you know, that was kind of a risk. That I don't normally take risks like that without being more aware of the book or hearing about it from other people. So, you know, that... That kind of made me a little bit leery, but I am so glad that I picked this book up. I would I would totally say that this is a four-star read for me. Highly recommend it. I would read it again. I think you would really like it too. Maybe it's not for everybody, but if you're a fan of Sherlock Holmes and Lovecraft, you can't go wrong with this. Even if you're only a fan of Sherlock Holmes, and you've never read any Lovecraft, you don't have to have a background with Lovecraft to enjoy this tale. Uh, it's a really, really cool fantasy noir setting, and I highly recommend it. So there you go. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Have you even heard of this book? I, I'd never heard of it before I saw it on Amazon. Uh, but it turns out this guy has written several Sherlock Holmes pastiche novels. Um, and so I'm going to continue reading the series. There's three books in the Cthulhu case books. So I'm going to be reading those. And then he's got other supernatural Sherlock Holmes stories in a different series. So I'll probably get to those eventually as well. But I, I, I feel another favorite author coming on. I really do. That's how much I enjoyed this book. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Do you think you're going to read it? Does it sound up your alley? Uh, I'll leave a link in the description below where you can kind of check it out and read the blurb and see what you think. And that's it, folks. Make sure that you are reading more books. And I will talk to you in my next video.